Many times, the rush from day to day, or simply not taking the time to think and identify all the risks and dangers associated with the incorrect selection of the place to park the vehicle, can end in serious consequences such as injuries or death of someone, including ourselves. So it is important to consider as part of your journey risk assessment to identify as a team where drivers, helpers, supervisors to assess all potential risk and define the safest places to stop and or park your vehicle considering the following preventive measures. 1. Identify the safest place to stop and or park the vehicle. We will usually be working in several different locations, but we should be able to recognize the common characteristics that could represent specific risks during the process of stopping and parking. For example, always avoid parking in a main road, obstructing partially or totally a lane of the road, corners, cycle lanes, ramps for people with disabilities, construction zones, second rows or unassigned parking lanes, bridges, high-speed rails, on the sidewalks, squares or roundabouts, train tracks, curves and narrow paths. Keep in mind that your vehicle produces a blind area that prevents others from seeing what is around you, creating dangers for the crew, pedestrians, cyclists or other drivers. 2. Environmental conditions and lighting. Our vehicle must be parked as far as possible from the road or traffic route so that we do not affect the mobility of other users. Keep in mind that at some times of the day, mainly in the early morning, at dusk or at night where visibility is poor, collisions with an improperly parked vehicle are quite common. This also happens on days with rain, fog or some other inclement weather that increases the level of risk. 3. Select a suitable terrain. Avoid slopes or places with slopes that put the stability of the vehicle at risk. 4. Fully immobilize the vehicle before getting off. Turn off the engine and secure the parking brake position, exit with the three-point technique and chock the wheels. 5. Make use of the lighting system and your signalling equipment, such as cones or triangles, to be able to properly communicate the parking of the vehicle. Installing reflective tape on the rear, sides and front of your truck is a highly effective defence. 6. If you have to get out of the vehicle, do it on the opposite side to traffic and avoid standing outside the vehicle in areas of zero visibility for people passing through the place. 7. Use your personal protection equipment at all times. The vest or garments to be used must have reflective stripes and a different colour from that of the vehicle is recommended. As an assistant, pay attention to all these points and support the driver in identifying the risks. As a supervisor, always reinforce these elements and support by registering, updating and managing additional reporting risks on distribution routes so that the best strategies can be found to enable safe work. Accidents are avoidable, so think before you start. We can avoid parking the vehicle in unsafe or prohibited places and make route to market a safe activity.